Hi there! Welcome back to the Rare Book Reviews channel where I talk about how much I love books and reading and bookstores and collecting. And today I am going to go book shopping, which I love. And I want to thank everybody who has encouraged me on this channel and subscribed or commented because it gives me another reason to go to a bookstore, which I love. Today I'm going to one of the friends of the library bookstores, which is even better because it is for charity. It is reusing instead of just having too much stuff that you don't want. It's finding things in your home. It's for the library. So it's all good things. It is a really fun store. Sometimes the aisle are crammed with these huge bins of books waiting to make it to the shelves and sometimes there's really good people watching I am looking for I'm always on the lookout for books that I'm collecting I really love nice copies special copies of the books that I read when I was a kid so I really enjoy an early hardcover or a really nicely illustrated edition you never know what you'll find I am a bargain shopper so this is my kind of bookshop. And I have a list of fiction that I'm really interested in, though right now my to-be-read area, it has grown beyond shelves, is out of hand. So I'm not really in the market for new fiction, but I do have a list of things that I would probably be persuaded to bring home. And I have a lot of requests for other people right now, which I really love. I have friends who have kids who do not have time to go to use bookstores like I do, and they are on a budget. So I love finding things for them. You can find really great kids books in basically new condition at a totally bargain price. So I love finding a new home for things like that. And then I have some requests from other friends, so you never know what we'll find. Let's go see what it is today. I had a great time at the bookstore. It was fantastic. I had a really good time and I recently went to a bookstore and bought nothing. So I was concerned that I might be on some kind of streak of bad luck, but this was great. I found some good things, but I also really enjoyed the vibe. There was really cool music playing and there were a bunch of people and they were very chatty. And there were people who clearly had not been to this bookstore before, which I love. I love it when people have discovered this place because we should support our libraries. And I found really great things. I found a friend of mine requested for her kids are on to the Choose Your Own Adventure and FM3 that are perfect. And they were about $1.50. So that is fantastic. And I'm really trying to think of what else would be equivalent to Choose Your Own Adventure. I'm trying to think of other things in this genre. They were really into the ballpark mysteries for a while. And I'm trying to think, I enjoyed Choose Your Own Adventure as a kid and I'm racking my brain for what else would be similar. So if you have suggestions, please let me know. I also found, this has been on my request list for a while, The Land of Stories. This is clearly post my time when I was reading children's books, but apparently these are really cool. And a friend of mine said that her kids love them, but they are. The recommended price here on the label is $18. What? Um, and these were three. I got her three hardbacks and one paperback. And these were two or three dollars a piece. So I think that's be 10, 12 bucks, which is not bad when you consider they're 18 for one book. Yikes, inflation. So I'm really excited about that because it's been on my list for a while. And I've been to a couple book sales where I couldn't quite remember which ones she wanted. And I sent her a picture and she would have to say, no, not that one. So I finally found them, which is awesome. This is pretty cool. 
These are Heritage Press. I have a video about my Heritage Press and folios, which are this in a slipcase type edition. So I'll try to put a link in the notes. This is really cool. This is the journals of Lewis and Clark um, on their expedition to the West Coast. And they're really nice. They're got a little bit of gilt on the spine. They have the slip case. This is an older Heritage Press style. You can see it's a little bit shiny. And they later went to more of a matte a little looks a little nicer on the shelf these are pretty good the slip cases have a little bit of wear i have purchased these and sold these before i like to carry them around with me sometimes and think am i going to keep this or am i going to sell it but this time i think this might end up on the gift shelf i have someone in mind i think who would really enjoy this who does not watch the channel so i can talk about it i think yeah but these were a good price i will not say what because they might be on the present shelf but they're nice these are hefty Nice addition. There's some illustrations and some cool maps in there. So I think it's a good one if you're into Lewis and Clark. I found uh, from my cousin requested Jennifer Chiaverini. Chiaverini? Uh, has this whole series about quilters and my cousin is a quilter and she requested so I'm gonna try to find her I'm going to another book sale soon and I'm gonna see if I can package up as many as I can from the series which would be a nice, nice present for her she lives out the country she doesn't live near bookstores so I think it's always fun to find things on her list this is and this is my uh, this is an Arthur Rackham illustrated a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is a nice addition. These are the weather vanes. And I think I have a video about my love of Arthur Rackham. His illustrations are so cool and kind of creepy. He is really great if there's any kind of uh, ghosts or creatures. And of course, the Christmas Carol is a ghost story. So I thought this was really neat. I've actually never seen this edition before. Weather vane did a nice job. Some of their, they did, um, the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, the Arthur Rackham edition, is really nice. It's a larger format, and it has all of the original editions, all of the original illustrations. They, they do a nice job with an economical version. The Arthur Rackham originals are really expensive, and the trade editions are expensive, and then <laughs> reprints are affordable. But you can see this is a pretty good color reproduction. It's not quite as fine as a higher end reprint, but this is really great for a reader's copy. And I can show you, I have another edition of the same. This is my Arthur Rackham Christmas Carol. It's another one. I'll just bring it home with me and see which one is better. I think this one is earlier. It is not dated. It is Lippincott, who is one of the US reprinters of the Arthur Rackhams. And here you can see it's the same illustration. This one, like I said, is undated, but it actually says on the copyright page, printed in Great Britain. I've got two loose pages in this book, but I, and normally that would be, I would try to replace it, but I have had this for a while and I love reading it on Christmas Eve or the week of Christmas. It's really, really fun. The dust jacket has big bite on the front of it. I would love to upgrade, but I think this one is nicer than the Weather Bay one. So I think what is probably going to happen is this will go onto my eBay account, which is how I forward my book addiction. And I think I'll probably hold on to it and put it up for sale near Christmas. I have a friend who does this all the time and I refer to it as her playing the stock market. If she buys a book that she thinks it will go up in value because maybe there's going to be a movie or the author is going to write something new. She's got a lot of theories. And usually I shun that because I already have enough books on shelves. I don't need more books waiting on shelves, but this one is Christmas. Um, though again, it is a ghost story, so you could sell it at Halloween, but I think that would defeat the purpose. So I had a fantastic day. I bought a bunch of books. None of them are going on my to be read shelf, so grand success. <laughs> and I found things for other people that were looking for them. So that's really fun. I feel like it was a great day. Books for everyone. I want to thank you again for watching and as always, happy reading.